Jones here. We had a strange conversation. Oh, not a strange conversation, a very interesting one. We were talking about the takeover of automation. And I wonder, I wonder what will happen to money once automation takes over? Because you're gonna, you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna break the, the break, of, break the cycle of how money is transferred from person to person. Because most of the jobs will be done by automation and most people will be either working for the software or the hardware of the, of the automated things. And then our source of income is gonna be a little bit twisted because most people are not producing something of value anymore. It's machines that are producing something of value. And what is valuable to you is the question. Uh, we use money because we, we agree that money is valuable. So you, I give you something of value, which is money, for something that I value, which is a product. And, you know, we can say it's entertainment, but enter you can, what are you going to do? You're going to trade songs with your, with your buddy? Eventually, it's a it's a commodity that's nice to have. It's good, but I don't I I don't see how it will work in the long run. It's almost like the same thing. It's only if a few like large corporations were to produce all the products, and we are left to decide what products render a value. If if that makes any kind of sense, I'm trying to make a point here that. What is money once we're automated? It's, it's one of those things. Are we going to be harvesting raw materials and then selling it to the machine to, for, the, for it to create a product? As a trade for the product that we need? How would this work? Or are we going to go back down to communal societies that uh, rely on each other for barter and trade? You know, the, the bread, the candlestick, whatever the saying was. The baker, the doctor, and the candlestick maker, something like whatever that was. It was a, it's an old saying. I, it, it's just a little bit... Because we were talking, and it came to me that once things are automated, and then the few people that manage the machines or work the machines will be the only people that are actually producing a product of value and what is valuable to you. Like, I know what is valuable to me. A good pair of shoes, shelter, food. And even, even agriculture is starting to become more and more automated. And eventually, what is valuable? I mean, tech is valuable to an extent because tech is our entertainment and our way to stay connected and we use it in production. But once production is taken over, like, the machine doesn't need money. The machine needs maintenance. Right? So, you're trying to give money to something to create a product. But the product doesn't really need money. It needs money to support the people that create the product. Or maintain the machine that makes the product. But those will be very few. And then what will we be trading with each other? I mean, we're all gonna be entertainers. So if we, majority of us are entertainers, we're gonna we're gonna trade laughs and jokes and songs and art and stuff like that. I don't know. Once production is centralized, what is money? We we be we be trading our labor for food or trading our labor for stuff of value, the actual value. Because you know, we use money as a we use money because we agree it's valuable to purchase stuff that is of actual value, which is land, food, shelter, clothing, and stuff of that nature. And this goes to the saying, at the end of the day, you can't eat your iPhone. And then if you play it all the way through, you really can't eat your iPhone, and the iPhone don't want your money. It's, it's one of those things. I don't know, it's just a thought. Jones out.